Hey, welcome back to the channel. I'm Greg, and this is the Boss Ranch Garage. Let's get some things done around here in the garage. I got a few things new for the shop. I need to do some rearranging, and we might get a little bit of work done on the Spitfire. But uh, yeah, hang out. Let's let's do this. Okay, this video shout out is going to Spitbit. He's over in the UK. Some great content. He's been working on going from a twin carb to a single carb. Uh, in his last two videos, you can see I watched. I haven't watched this one yet, but he, he made a whole different hood for his car. But uh, yeah, he has some great content. Uh, this one here is talking about the uh, Freelander stud conversion which i am going to do sooner or later but yeah shout out to him and a challenge to you guys if you do a shout out to a channel it helps them out immaculately uh and then if they do a shout out to you that helps you out uh it's just cover helping getting your 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 channel out to new viewers so, if you got a channel that has a lot of viewers, you know, you're, it's a good chance they're going to come and check you out. So, do the same thing for them. And he has just over a thousand subscribers. And he's been at it for a while now. I can't remember how long it's been, how many videos he has. But, man, uh, help out your fellow YouTubers. The ones you like, give them a shout out. Okay, let's get to it. Yeah, I've just been doing a little cleaning up. I kind of want to give you guys a look at what kind of things I do on the side. Uh, just whenever I don't have parts to work on the car or anything else to do, I make art out of silverware and tools. This is the very first one I ever made. It is a crucifix. Uh, it's made out of two junk. Chinese, Japanese, whatever, wrenches. It's not the greatest because it's the first one i ever done. Uh, but it's two wrenches welded together. You got a bolt, nut head for the head. These are nails, a nut for a foot prop. Uh, so I made that one first. And then I made a couple more and I have sold these. I got them on Mar uh, Facebook Marketplace. But uh, this is the newest one. It's a smaller one. I'm going to hang this in my uh, in my truck. I'm going to find a chain there and hang it from it. It's a little better. Uh, the welds ain't the greatest. I might grind them up, smooth them up, make them look decent. But then, after I made that, I decided I'm going to try my hand at silverware. Uh, I made some bugs. Like this one here would be a, I guess you can call it like a praying mantis. Uh, it's just a fork bent over different shapes uh, pol polished a little bit I welded some BBs for the eyes um, then I made this one this is another fork uh, I don't know what kind of bug you would call that but it's just you know heat and bend and, and then I made a beetle this is out of a parts of a fork and a, a couple spoons the main body which is this part is what you bend over and then this is another spoon which has been split in the back to make the wings I I should have brought them out further like he was going to take flight or something but and then I really got into it I'm making these silverware birds and this is perched on a nail uh, this consists of I never really did count it it's one two three four five six spoons one fork this is just another handle from one of the spoons that I had to use to cut and fill but uh, I was going to drill and put an eye in using a ball bearing, but I don't have any small enough ball bearings 
uh, you can always do that later but I do have these for sale on Facebook marketplace so you can go to the channel and check them out and if you want a quote I will give you one and we will uh, give you a for a uh, subscribe being subscribed um, give you a discount so yeah that's just one of the things let's get back to cleaning up oh it is pretty cold out so I, I just came out when I came out here and started to heat up the garage and uh, 15 minutes later I go back out uh, when I came in it was green when I went back out and looked out the window we got a blanket of snow within 15 minutes but I have things I need to put away I need to charge batteries so with all my tools and uh, I'm just going to set them there because they're handy and take these over I'll be moving you around a little bit guys to uh, get my head on my head's cold these two are charged I have a few things I need to put away, like uh, I did get a new stool because I do watch uh, videos and make order my orders for parts, which I have to get. An order out which it's going to be a big order so you guys pay attention and we'll whenever it comes in we'll do an unboxing and all that but, but I did get a stool comfortable stool I went out with a buddy of mine and we uh, helped clean out a place guy passed away and his buddy lives in florida and doesn't want nothing to do with the property and they're just gonna they're cleaning things out and demolishing it's like a camp up along the allegheny river which is pretty run down so i got one of those out of the back building for the sit on let me take you off the tripod kind of get you guys an idea I need to put the need to put the welder away. That's what I've been using to do that that art, which I put back over here. That's my little work area. I made a third hand for welding out of rebar. Now, well, I think I might need to add a little weight, but I don't know. We'll see how it works. But to hold pieces in place because. The hold and take weld, you can't do it. You don't got three hands. So they call them a third hand. So I made one. Then I got stuff put away, just rearranged, put it back where it belongs, moved the welder. But I need to move this stuff first. Uh, put my tape measure where it belongs. Um, Closed shelves. Those are all my spare wrenches to make that art with. Close that. But I got this army crate. And the guy's name was Edward G. Cole. Uh, down in Pittsburgh. But I'm gonna I'm gonna try and figure out what to do with that put some stuff in it that I don't use too regularly uh, a crowbar 
over here out of the way. Talking about using this for some sort of art. We'll find that. But I got another stool. So if I'm working on the car, I have uh, this roll around, which is pretty, pretty nice. Uh, that has tools underneath, but you never know. May need it. Another garbage can. Go Steelers. That'll be put somewhere. I got to clean up. Uh, we got the calipers and rotors and bearings and all that taken care of up front. I'm still going to order up the new front brake hoses, brake line, because I'm going to do the whole car. Um, but yeah, we got some cleaning to do. Rearranging, I got this stuff I got to go through um, from that guy. Um, but I like to take my time and, and, and try to clean up every now and then. It's like the generator. Now, box, that white box is full of small garbage bags. I don't need them. I'll probably pitch them. Whatever else is over there, fishing poles, they need to go somewhere. Because this is a garage, not a storage area now. Uh, oh, I take it a full gasket kit for the for the Triumph, which we're going to be using. I got a bunch of junk over there by the grinder. It needs to be cleaned up. That area, I need to clean up. I need to make it more uncluttered. <laughs> but let me figure out where I put this out of the way. I might even use it for a cabinet. That'd be kind of cool. Kind of hanging on the wall. Yeah, might be a good idea. Something to think about. I'm going to put that back behind the car for now so it's out of the way. And move the welder over here. Don't mind me, I'm in my sweats today. And I just come out to the garage to get a few things done. clean it up. I even give it a shot of paint. Same with this trash can. It's dirty, but it's good shape. I'm going to clean her up. Use it. Uh, let's see. Plug. Welder. Move you guys. I did. Uh, I'll show you what I really can't explain. I gotta fix my helmet. This little adjuster broke. It won't open and close. So I put it on my head and got it as close as possible and duct taped it. So I gotta get another one of these for the helmet. Why well, buy a I might even just buy a whole new helmet. Nothing. <clears throat> that 
some different pieces of scrap metal laying around. Uh, let's see. What do we need to do? I need to clean this area up. Those are all the lug nuts for my car. And they're all different. Uh, I don't like the idea of that. Dirty, dirty rags. Sorry. Empty box. But I want to save that. Never know. Might need it somewhere. Put, put something in. I still haven't... I got the old one out, but still haven't got the new one in for the e-brake. So... That has got to be done. I got the old one out. and I was going to put the new one in. I stated in a video that I got it done. Well, I lied. But, yeah. Let me uh, set you up and figure out where I'm going to put all this stuff. Now before it gets too dang cold out or in here, we are gonna uh, I'll have to turn the heater on and you guys will have to just bear with me. Hey, if you guys want to help support the channel a little bit, you can always go down into the Patreon section down below, leave a tip, uh, because brake clean and blaster and uh, it's like I just had to get a new propane bottle this was eight bucks it's not cheap uh, parts pieces to help out the channel would be greatly appreciated but that's up to you uh, and if you like this stuff why don't you go subscribe buttons right down there uh, let's keep going now I was going to show you when I had the welder over here but I forgot I was going to show you, but when I put this plate in, yeah, I found, I found this over at that guy's plate. So I'm going to paint that and put it outside on the house. Uh, this is such an old, old sign, street sign, kind of like that. It's the backside. I just countersunk the holes, which were already in it. I didn't have to drill the holes. Just countersink them and, and used flat type washers or bolts like bolt screwed them down in four different spots over here and there the back I did not put one in that corner but I did put one in this corner I used a lag bolt and some spacers so it, it lags down tight to the to the metal and that's my ground so I just run my ground and clamp it to it and I can weld it without having to ground the piece itself which works freaking awesome but I want to clean this counter up and then I'm going to start I need to find a bin or something to put them in because I need to find new lug nuts if you guys watch the channel know anything about these lugs uh, they're for the same size as Spitfire um, well duh they come off the car but um, what kind of lugs I can run my mini lights on. I need to have the washers. And uh, I do have one wheel back here where we go up to see. But they need to fit that hole, which I got measurements. But I want to go to the... Um, Range Rover stunt conversion. But, yeah, I need to pick up this light. 
get it out from under there. Move these pads. This is from crawling around underneath. This is this yoga mat. Picked them up for like two bucks at the dollar store. I need to sweep. Clean this stuff up. Both sides. Yeah. So let's keep at it. She is getting cold out there. I don't think I need to have that there for now. Uh, this is a, uh, a stop mat. I used to be able to buy them. It's called Easy Stop. Sold by Matt, uh, Minico. Uh, you just place it somewhere in your in your draw in your garage, so you can shut the door and you roll up and you hit this. And you know where you're at. Just that, or you can do the old-fashioned thing: hang a tennis ball from a string. We'll set that there. These pads. I need to get more of them. Absorbent pads. Which are freaking excellent. And I'm gonna tub and rag and stuff over here. That rag of history. I need to do something with these. I got a box of dirty rags that I put them in. One of these days when the white paint around, I want to wash them in the washer. Shh. Uh, oh, I don't know if you guys seen my my uh, little shorts video I put up recently. Uh, because you're doing TIG, TIG welding. Uh, some of the rods, you're doing fine, real fine TIG welding. The rods, some of the rods are way too thick. If you're, if you're TIG welding thin metal, like when I'm doing the spoon art, this takes way too much heat to get it to melt. And you don't want to apply a lot of heat to those that silver wire because it will just, it will just uh, heat it up too much and change the color and blew it and you can't polish it. So you just take standard MIG wire no flux core. This is 35, 035, standard MIG wire, which I bought a roll just to do this because I'll be taking a lot. And you just twist it with a drill. It makes it straight because when it comes off the roll, it's bent. But yeah, check that. Check that short out. Uh, and then I just made a tube and put them in. Same with the take wire. I got two of it right here. I need to get smaller stuff. I do got a ton of rod too from that guy. I got a ton of small welding rod, thin stuff. So if I'm if you're doing, I don't know how well it'll work on sheet metal, but boy, this stuff is small, thin. So I think it might work good on, you know. 14, 12 gauge, 10 gauge, you know, stuff like that. Uh, I don't know how well it'll work on sheet metal. And put that back. I did buy a TIG holder from Harbor Freight. And then whenever I'm welding on the car, because I can if you can't find the ground, this is an idea. This was eight dollars at Harbor Freight. Just go and buy yourself a different bolt, a longer bolt. I should have put another nut on this just for it to bite a hold of and it won't bugger the threads up. Or put another nut on it. But just get a longer nut. Put it in there. Now you got somewhere to clamp to. Plus you got a place to put the hang your your bigger TIG gun. Simple. Simple little thing. Ah, uh, okay. Let's see, I want to clean up the floor. It got, I still got to clean that side of the counter. Put these clamps somewhere, but I do use them for 
doing my artwork whenever I do get a chance to do it. And this is for the Triumph Spit Bar. Uh, not Spit Bar, but the Triumph Bobber. I need to I need to get back on that. Let me know if you want to see more of that. Uh, got some work lights from uh, I gotta get batteries for this one. But they're magnetic. Uh, got one there and then you turn this side on work sticks right to stuff you know that's where I got it. then they have a hanger also on the back you can hang it so that'd be good for doing body work and I got a few things from him I got silverware to do my artwork that's killer so hey uh, if you like to if you want like to see some more of that stuff uh, let me know down in the comment on maybe we'll do a art time with Bosch Wrench Garage or something. I don't know. If you like that kind of stuff or if you're interested in one. Uh, if you're just popping into the video and you wonder what I'm talking about, go back to the beginning. I do I do artwork too. Um, uh, let's see, let me get the broom. I'm going to turn the camera off just for a little bit. Get some heat in here. I'm getting cold. Okay, you guys just got back from having a little lunch and did a little more cleaning up just around a little bit. Like over here, I did cleaned up. I still got to clean up the stuff from the grindings from the grinder. I'm going to make a backstop. So that it's not blowing all the crap all the way back to the wall. Make kind of like a, just a little backstop. Just something to keep it all contained. And then you just pull it out of the way and clean up. But we'll make that after I decided because I know I'm ordering some uh, parts for the, for the doors. Yeah. You know the inner uh, belt. For the window and then the outer rubber uh, seal so when you roll your window up it, uh, it cleans the window keeps debris and all that water from going down and I'm getting up with new clips for both sides but I'm not gonna buy the tool come on uh, I'll bring it up on it on the screen just to show you what they're charging Well, this is Moss Motors. Uh, how often are you going to be using that tool? Unless you do restorations all the time. It'd be probably worth getting it. But when you're only doing once in a while, you might later on need to replace, you know, the, the seals. And then you got that. But for 39 bucks plus shipping, tax, etc., uh, I got better things I can do with 39 bucks, 40 something with shipping. But even on the Flea Bay, they want $29.95 plus shipping. Uh, come on. Now, why not make your own? It'd be a lot freaking cheaper. I mean, if you got the, a thin enough piece of strap metal, you can make them. All you're doing is just pulling the clips up into place. Uh, and what I have is from my old um, soft top for the Spitfire that was junk. And uh, the part that goes down alongside the back of the door, uh, when you shut the door to the window, that part has a stiffener, a packer in it. And before I threw mine out, I, I pulled them out. That's what these are. They're stainless steel. Um, I couldn't tell you how thick. I didn't measure it. But they're probably about 8 inches long. Uh, if you know how to weld, weld stainless, or um, if you can find something just as thin, but a little bit longer, but you're only reaching down that far 
into the car. So you don't need a tool that long. Right? So I'm going to attempt to make one of these. And if it works, if it looks like it's going to work, I can't guarantee it's going to work. It's going to be strong enough. But I'll make another one with this one. And I'll give it to one of you viewers. I'll send it to you. Uh, so we're going to make two of them. Um, so I got kind of set up here. I'm just winging it. Right? But let's see what we can accomplish here. What I am thinking of doing, we need to heat this up. So I got my Benzomatic out. Uh, what I'm thinking I'm gonna get gonna do is I'm gonna clamp one end with the needle nose plier, pliers to the socket, and then I'm just gonna bend it around. Uh, I already ran it once by hand, just going around it to see if it's how it, well it's gonna fit, and if you do this correctly, it's gonna be just about halfway, and then we'll make our hook here. You're only going to need about that much to do it. But, well, if I, I, I'm, what I'm thinking is big enough to put your finger in that loop, the pull. I might go to a smaller socket. So, give me a second. Okay, I got a 13 sixteenths, and I'm able to get my finger in there. So, that's about what you want to, want to do. But we're going to clamp this to the top Oop, need a little bit more than that she's not tight enough just barely tight make too much there I think she'll work. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I need I got a pair of needle nose right here. That might work. We're going to try and heat this up enough. Should have my gloves, which I don't. I'm going to use a pair of pliers or needle nose. There she's starting to get hot. Let's see what we can do with it. Kind of got her there. She'll be acting like a heat, uh, that socket will, will act like a heat sink to pull the heat right out of it. Might have to get my hammer. get that hot enough to where it's going to wrap around it. That's not tight. No, we're near tight enough. 
I knew that was going to happen. And I can't pick it up with it. I sure don't want to touch this thing. Maybe go that way with it this time. That's more better. You can see where it's not forming too well. It's where I got the heat at to that socket. try and get it heated up enough to where I get it hot red hot all the way out and bring it all the way around I need to get a good set of torches some oxen settling but if you guys go down into the Patreon section it'll help the channel out give a little donation Since I'm a too small of a channel to get uh, sponsorships like I have on the other channel, yeah, we're getting there now. She don't get too hot. I mean, she don't get hot quickly. And this stuff will cool very quickly. Get in the shape we want. We'll be doing a little bit of welding on this also. I think that'd be good for now. <clears throat> we'll let that cool down and then we'll come, come back and show you from there. Got both of them made. They're not the greatest, but what we're going to do after we're done bending, all the bending, is we're going to attack this to this side with the welder. And uh, then that should be, it should work. We'll find, the only way to find out is just try it, right? So, what I want to do is you want to make a lip to where it's, it's U-shaped, you know, or a V-shape, real tight one. And I'm just going to cold form this. Hopefully, this stuff doesn't snap. It's been seeming to bend fairly simply. I'm just going to do both of them 
I want to make sure I get them in the right direction. That one, there it go. The one, well, it should still work. Still should still work. I was thinking because if you're pulling on it, but it really, I don't think it really matters which way the, the hook is. But so now try and get that bent over even further. I'm leaving those <laughs> needle nose. Um, vice grips laying there to cool off don't want burn my freaking hand see how I got this one backwards Now we'll go back in here again. I'm pushing. On the part to get that to, to bend. So and you can always adjust that to where if you need it tighter, more open. Just by using a pair of channel locks or something, you know. It's a little tighter than the other one. Okay, so we got two, one each direction. <laughs> I don't know which one I'll, I'll probably send this one to the, viewer see if it works for free what the hell so now let's fight with getting these uh closed which i'll probably use the vise to close them and uh or just clamp it with a yeah i'll just clamp it those are still pretty warm we'll just leave them be and cool down and uh throw a tack on those now we got her all clamped up. This one, and I got small, small there, a pair of vice grips here. Got my MIG hold, uh, gun holder, got ground clamp to her. Now all I'm going to do is shoot a couple beads on each side. I'm hoping I can get in here on this side, which I should, uh, and just lay a couple beads just to hold it in place. Uh, We'll see how she how she goes, but Well, I blew through. I might have had it just a touch too hot on both of them. So that's a no go. Well, it's, it's always worth a shot, you know. What happened? So I probably was running just a, maybe a little bit too hot. I should have probably tagged it, which would have been better. But we blew holes on both sides. So now it's just that center section that's holding yeah i want to trust that same with this one I, this one's a little worse uh she does she does uh pull she's pretty strong but uh What I might try and do 
Boy, that wind's just a howling out there. What I might try and do with these is take some more uh, stainless that I, I got like four candles or something, uh, just pieces of stainless, and strap that. Just make a strap go around it. Uh, I could probably try and TIG that shot, but it, it is fairly strong. I mean, it's I'm, I'm pulling pretty damn hard on it. So, I don't know. Uh, what do you guys think? Uh, I will send one of these to a, to a, a, a subscriber. Uh, just put down in the des description. Um, I want clip tool. And in the next video, we'll do a, a, a drawing at the beginning of the video. And uh, I'll use a ran the random comment picker, which that's why you got to put in I want clip tool. And we'll do that. Uh, I'll write it down so I remember to do it on the next video. And then you get in touch with me and we'll ship it off to you. It, but in the meantime, I'm going to try and fix these just in case. Uh, I would still I would still wear gloves to you know just in case it does let loose. Uh, but hey, a free uh, a free window clip tool. You know what the hell? Okay, well there you go. Uh, that's the one I'm going to send away to a customer. I haven't, I haven't patched this up yet. But, yeah, I probably just ran it too hot. I should have just did little quick tacks like I did with this with the silverware. I had it a little hot. I was running about 40 amps. And I should have, I should have known better because that's about as thick as a spoon. I should have run it down lower where I usually run it when I'm making those things right around 20, 25 and it worked perfectly, but hey, my bad. Okay, so that didn't work out too good, but let's make a deflector for my grinder. Uh, I do have a piece of aluminum, which is two feet long, and uh, all I'm going to do is bend this, and uh, I got to do one cut. I'll set, uh, uh, show you what I need to do here. Okay, what my idea is, because the core goes directly in the middle in the back, I'm going to make a, a slice in this panel uh, right in the middle, about an inch or two up, just to give it room for the cord. And then I'm just going to bend the ends, and I can just let it sit there. Uh, may have to make some feet or something for weight. I don't know. We'll find out as we go. But I'm going to get the uh, measurements done, drawn out, and cut. So let's get to that. <clears throat> so I'm going to measure over. I might make a half inch gap. So here's one foot in the center. So I'm going to go 11 and 3 quarters, then 12 inch 1 quarter, so that gave me a half inch gap, and then I'm going to take it uh, up approximately, let's go, let's go 1 and a half inch. So I'll try to draw these lines and get out the, trying to find my square, but I don't know where it went. So get out my left, little straight level, after I could probably use that. 
we're not going for precision here just make it useful I may use the drill to drill out here so I don't have to fight with trying to get that cut just make it a semicircle I think that's what I'll do but flip this around and I'll clamp it in place get out all the get out the drill my cutter bits and we'll get to it We're not going for perfection here, just making it useful. Yeah, that looks pretty good. <clears throat> now I gotta sweep up all those shavings get them in the bottom of my shoes, track them into the house. She's smoking because the back side has been painted and uh, that's what I was going through is that paint. Now then I take something and kind of smooth that out a little bit so it don't really cut into the uh, wire for the grinder. Let's see. Got these clamps at Harbor Freight for, I think it's three bucks a piece. I got four of them. And we'll clean that up a bit. Uh, I don't know, I got flapper. I might do that. Change over. When you're changing over, always take the battery out. And I always just tighten them by hand. I never really used a wrench. I'm in danger. <laughs> I'm in danger. Okay, let's just see how this is going to work. Alrighty. Yeah, that's going to work nice. I'll put some tape around it, I think. Just to, uh, 
be safe with that wire as you can see and then I'll I'm gonna while it's sitting here I'm gonna mark in a, the same distance on both ends uh, so far and just give it a bend uh, I'm going to try and come up with something for this side. I'll have to show you what I'm talking about over here. Okay, what I'm talking about is that we got this sitting here. I'm going to make a bend so it comes around. But if you see, my grinder is, it blows it. That stuff, let me move that, set that down. Down in here. Uh, Try and make something to keep it from blowing it all down on all this crap. Uh, I don't know. Uh, if I just bend it, it might just drop. But I might have to come up with something to put underneath um, to keep, the, keep it from dropping down below. I could always move the grinder which is lag bolted i have to move my fridge move it over a bit but yeah i don't want to <laughs> so i might just come up with something to put in there well i done marked same distance from both directions and just to give it a bend well that ain't gonna work can't reach it won't reach in far enough so uh, maybe got to use the poor man's brake. All right, the poor man's brake. Just a piece of strap metal, edge of a table, two C clamps, and they have to. Uh, Said we're not going for perfection here. I like to get some of those clamps, that fast clamps, you know, just give it a quick whammy and you're done. Take a bit to get that over. I might have to move these clamps in tighter because it's starting to bend now. So if you guys feel froggish, I could get a break, which would be nice to have in the shop. Uh, of Harbor Freight. If you guys go down below into the Patreon, it'll say my last channels. Uh, it'll be both our channel, both my channels are for uh, Lost Wrench Garage and Go Outdoors. But uh, if you make a donation, I can. I can get more tools and use them on the, the floor pans for the Spitfire body panels. I want to get a, stre a stretcher shrinker because uh, I would rather make more body panels. So we're just going to pound this over. Sorry guys, I knocked you over. Oh. Wow. <laughs> Didn't expect that. Sorry. Uh, I did get it bent over some, not all not as far as I want it. But
that's the fun of making videos. Shit like that happens, you know. So, yeah, I can use it this way now in the in the vise. Let me set you guys up. Yeah, I'm not. Take yeah, I'm just showing you guys how to do do things. I don't sugarcoat nothing. If I gotta make something work, I'm and I make it work. You know. There we go. That's one. Wonder if I could do that on the other side. About there, I guess, huh? Not to fight with that poor man's break. Oh, yeah, look at that. Still beat it with a hammer a little bit. Probably knock you guys over again. This thing will, will work over here. Kind of get you all set up so you can see. If I bend it a little bit. Or it'll because it's snug over here. If I bend this a little bit tighter, it'll hold right against these the ends of the. Let's see, how can I bend that? Sorry, guys, I ain't showing you what I'm doing. gonna work. Let me try and turn you around here. Oh, battery's dying. Gotta put you on life support. But, uh, yeah, I think that'll do pretty good. And it'll still contain some of this. I ain't gonna worry about that. It's still containing it. At least it's not blowing it all over the freaking place. And if I have to, I can always come up with a bracket to somehow tied into the shields. I still need to get parts for this. This is a garage sale find. I want to get the ramps. Don't really need a, well, yeah, might need on that side. Need to get new ones, the shields. They're pretty trashed. Ten dollars a yard sale. What the hell, right? Okay, guys, well, we did get a few things done. Nothing done on the car. I'm in the waiting gate, waiting on parts. Well, I gotta make an order too. I got some parts coming in, but uh, nothing that I could use right now. Uh, but hey, remember, go check out Brit's Fit on YouTube. Good channel. And uh, as always, I do appreciate you guys. If it wasn't for you, I ain't gonna be. I ain't gonna be where I'm at right now I, I wouldn't be where I'm at right now uh, we're growing but growing slow so hey why don't you give a, this a big thumbs up share it out that shows the algorithm that hey you got some good stuff subscribe if you like watching this stuff and you keep coming back and you ain't a subscriber why subscribe and plus we're doing the giveaway on the clip tools that we made. We're going to give away one to a subscriber. And you got to be subscribed. And you got to put in the comment uh, section. I, I, uh, 
I want clip tool. So, uh, as always, give me a big thumbs up, knock finger, and hey, why don't you go look at that video. We'll see you on the next one.